So first off, and before we kick into this training camp, massive thanks to Plum for sponsoring this vlog. So Plum is a finance app that's helped me to start to invest, and I'm gonna tell you about them real soon, but a massive thank you to them. Okay, yeah. um, what about size, Alex? Yeah. Keep doing completions. They're good, not because we're sponsored. Right, day three of the block, so we're doing 140K today, which should be five hours with all the climbing um, and some zone three efforts. <sighs> um, pretty, my legs are feeling it a bit. I did just shy of six hours yesterday, which was really good, but means my legs are feeling it a bit. We're out a bit earlier today, we're trying to avoid the rain. I've just done my medication for the morning, so it keeps me safe. It's gonna be a good day. There's yeah, eight of us on a ride, and yeah, we're just basically trying to avoid, trying to avoid rain. That's the aim of the day, as well as efforts. We're dropping down to like 400 meters, and then climbing up to 2,400, and then hotel. We're going a long way round. If you do a loop here, it's quite a long way. You can't do less than like 100k or 140k like loop. Otherwise, it's a lot of out and back. Thanks for watching so far and before we get out the door I want to tell you about our sponsor Plum. With all the current chat around crypto, stocks and shares and startups I wanted to get into investing but never really knew where to start. And that's where our sponsor Plum comes in. Plum links to your bank account and then lets you set up your own rules for investing from as little as £1 and you can withdraw and deposit at any time. I've been testing it out for the past few months using the advanced feature. With the advanced feature, you can choose from 12 different funds and it really gives you a helpful overview of everything, like your average return each day, uh, the risk level, and even your holding companies. It's also got some fun stuff like setting a small investment up for every day it rains. I'm trying this over the summer to start with, obviously, and in the UK, it can be more often than not, even in the summer. Your funds are expertly managed and with over a million people already using it, you know that your money is going to a reputable source. I, for example, have invested in the ethical growth and tech giants funds, which means I've been able to own small holdings in big names like Facebook, Adobe and Apple and watch my funds grow day by day. So let me know how you get on and there's all the links you need down below. Obviously, every, anything relating to investment, I have to give you the disclaimer that I am not a qualified investor. So do your own research first before you commit to anything. I'm just a guy who's found an app that's been pretty helpful. So Plum is linked below, take a look, it's free to download with a 30 day free trial for everything else, including the investment features. Right, out the door, let's get back to the training camp and thanks again to Plum. kind of come to the conclusion that a gilet in the mountains is the most pointless piece of clothing because it's not enough for going downhill it's too much for going uphill so basically it's just a flappy flappy jersey that keeps a small part of your shoulders warm so we are got a rain jacket for the downhills that's said carry on your yoga yoga downward dog downward dog Dog. <laughs> You're more flexible on altitude, I think. <laughs> Top of the first climb. 32 minutes into the ride. <laughs> so far, mostly dry. We're not going that way, we're going that Maybe. way. Eight times eight minutes. Plus one time. In the plan, minutes. in the plan. Plus how long are you gonna ride for today then? How much rest between the eight minutes? Uh eight minutes or something. Sixty-four. So that's two hours and eight minutes. Plus twenty minutes. <sighs> Let's start now. But it's, a, it's, it's in the plan, huh? It's just, yeah. <laughs> it is the plan. It is the plan. We must do it is the plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a reality, yeah. There is no option, it is the plan. Yeah. Right, 
we're into I don't know what it's called, the twisty climb, the out and back climb of the day. Lots of switchbacks. We did this in the Giro last year. It was the climb after the Stilvio. Uh, we've just done like dropped down to 400, climbed to 1200 to where we are now doing this which I'm not sure if that's 7 seven k or something, I don't know then we go up to top of Lavinia drop to the hotel Seb Van Mark mentioned how lucky we were we hadn't got wet and almost seconds later start spitting with rain so holding him responsible but yeah hard day into the last 4k of the climb 16 switchbacks in 4k oh slow altitude is getting to my brain either way a lot of switchbacks for 4k coming here it is so, final final climb 15k 7% and yeah I've blown my doors it's damp and we're still seven and a half K from the top <laughs> yeah. Also, thunder and lightning, very, very frightening. <sighs> Groups in pieces, ones and twos. I'd love to be able to tell you I'm at the front of it. I am not. Just got in. It was a decent, decent ride. I was, yeah, blew my doors a little bit. Um, just, I knew it. I, we were on the pedals the whole day. I was struggling to get food in. And I sort of did the did the calculations of how much I had not eaten, and it was not enough. So up uh, the con can or the can con or whatever the bloody thing's called, I started to feel a little bit a little bit jaded. And then we hit the climb back up to back up to oh, that's my hammer head. Back up to the top, which is where every climb goes to the top, and. Yeah, then the rain started, then the thunder and lightning started, then at the top it got cold, so we wrapped up and then, oh, then we had a, an option to continue by bicycle or to jump in the cars for the, for the downhill. And at the top, it was on four and a half hours, I wanted, wanted five. Yesterday was 5.40, the day before was four, so it's a nice little three day chunk um, and Sep, Van Mark and I both kind of persuaded each other to stay on the bike so I chucked a hat on, chucked a set of gloves on, descended down which was very very cold. So Lavinia is like in a dish at 2000 meters so the only way out is to go up to then go down and so to come back in you have to go up and then descend into Lavinia and, and that was that was that was cold but we uh we're here and five hours and five or ten minutes on the clock so that's a decent little three day block i'll now have my recovery drink have a carby um uh, i don't know yeah some kind of light carbs and then shut it down and have pretty much a carb free dinner a carb free breakfast and then start hitting the carbs again at lunch tomorrow 
to get ready for the next block um, just to help try and shift shift some weight as well whilst we're at it but shift weight without shifting um, while still getting the, the training in so um, yeah uh, decent three days tested some wet weather gear velo toes gloves are very good quite difficult to get on and off but once they're on whew, you are not getting cold hands uh, our Jinga winter gear is good we I have one jacket that is not from Jinga that's kind of like my um, I call it my apocalypse jacket for when like, you're in real apocalyptic conditions and so that's sort of hidden at the bottom of my uh, rain bag ready for apocalyptic days and, and that came out it's also bright like apocalyptic days are usually um, dark so it's bright orange so I'm uh, that comes out when I want to be seen and be warm which was today uh, anyway thanks for watching thanks to Plum again for sponsoring this vlog and yeah I'll uh, see you next time